hi welcome to this tutorial series on spring mbc my last video was about the model attribute where we were able to get the information from form parameter form uh, html form uh, using post method we were actually get the all the input field values into our controller using model attribute uh, pojo class so we had created this model attribute pojo class and we had a form into our registered or JSP page and we have we had only two fields so using this model attribute tag we were able to get information to our controller S okay so in this video I am creating the list of the customer and then I am using JSTL to populate that list from the controller to UI and I am using interface based approach um, to for the implementation so let's create an interface of customer so let's create an interface customer service and skip the package as com dot spring dot e commerce dot service and so in our customer service use service annotation because the service class so we sh should use service annotation for all the service interfaces so this service annotation comes from spring framework stereotype service so i had a different tutorial series for the spring ioc where i have explained all different annotations used in spring framework and there you can you can get those video from my channel and then you can watch those video also so let's create a function here to get the list of customer so this should return list of customer get customers okay let's import the package and let's import the customer okay so this is our domain object so let's move it into different package let's just create a domain package it's domain okay we already have a domain package here so let's move this customer pose class into domain package yep so our interface is created now we can create an implementation class so let's create a class as customer service IMPL and in this class we can override the get customer method so this should be a component yep so let's create a create a list of customer here customers equal to new array list of customer okay let's import the package Okay, let's import this. So this will come from domain package. Okay, so so let's implement the interface. Customer service, and let's override the method. And here we can create some customers so so let's add some customer here new customer let's create some customer okay 
okay the password give some default name Let's get five customer and let's change the password as also and let's return this list okay so, yep so our interface and implementation is done uh, now we have to inject this object into our customer controller so so we are using interface based approach which is um, the best approach so we can create the object of customer here we can auto wire it so create instance of customer service okay and let's import this okay so this auto wire will create the instance of implementation class of customer service interface so let's create a controller so we need a different controller to get the customer list so this should be get customer list and we don't need we don't need any model attribute for this controller so this should be get customer list and here in the model we can add the attribute to ui so let's add it so we can directly call the method of our service implementation class so which is get customer and give a name for this attribute like customers and create a customers JSP so this name should be same as the JSP page so we need to create a JSP here so let's create a JSP page as customer so this should be customers yep okay so in JSP page we need to populate this information so uh, we can use JSTL for that so to get the JSTL into JSP page we need to use this tag live so this tag live come from JSTL sun.com.jsp or JSTL go so this tag library have different tags to actually perform any operations on the lists so let's check for the empty for to check for the empty we can use test and if tag of the JSTL and then we need to pass the list that we are returning from controller so we are returning customers so the name should be same as the name we are passing from the controller so we are passing name as customers so this, this should be same whatever name we are giving here so now we can use the for each tag so this is the for each tag to iterate the list using JSTL okay so in for each tag it the items we need to provide the customer and we have to create a variable so here let's create a table to populate this let's create a simple table and let's create a row in the row we need to populate the information so we need to use the curly brackets which provides by the JSTL itself so using this curly bracket we can show any variable name so let's see. close the tr tag and this should be password and you can use br to create the new line yep so uh, we have created the jsp page and using 
this code we will be able to populate the information to JSP page so let's test it so I think the server is not started let's start the server okay right click on project run as run on server so select the tomcat server okay so it is started so our controller name that we have created is get customer list so we can call this get customer list okay let's check it out okay let's copy this okay this should be get call okay let's test this okay it is deploying it again because we have modified the controller so server this application is again deploying on the server yep it is deployed so let's call this again yep we are getting the values the list into the our UI so yep it is working so so using this gestl tag and using set add attribute we can set any of the list into our from the controller to our gsp base so that's all for this video uh, in my next video uh, i'm i will discuss about the different error that we can send from the controller to our ui that are default error handling that spring mbc provide to our form parameters if the parameters are empty or some other validation so that i will discuss in my next video so thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye